Die for a Lesson. I'd like to read you some of the poems today. Would you like that? Good. By the way, did you know that there are different kinds of poetry? They're called narrative, which tells a story, and lyrical, which conveys a personal emotion. And, of course, there's performance poetry, which is a kind of monologue. It usually rhymes, but it doesn't have to. Now, turn on your imaginations and join me while I read you some poems from the Kingdom Indie Giggles and Dreams books. Remember, when you read or perform poetry, it's important that you speak the words naturally and don't forget to have an expressive face too. Speak with your eyes and your audience will love you. I'll begin with a junior narrative poem from A Cup of Giggles, A Saucer of Dreams, and I call this poem Dear Diary. Remember that a narrative poem tells a story? Well, see if you think this one does. It's on page 56. On Monday, our neighbour's cat looked lonely sitting on the fence. So, I put him on my bicycle rack and rode him to the park. But now, he's lost. Well, I didn't know he'd go berserk, jump off and run like that, did I? On Tuesday, our goldfish looked so sad, cramped up in their bowl. So, I filled up the bath with water and let them have a swim. But now, they're gone. Well, I didn't know they'd get sucked down the plug hole just like that, did I? On Wednesday, my brother looked so bored. I thought I'd cheer him up. So, I went to the shed. I got some paint and I decorated him. But now it won't wash off. Well, I didn't know what permanent meant written on the tin like that, did I? On Thursday, our Nana looked so tired. She loves playing games. So, as she walked up the garden path, I jumped out and said, Boo! But she just fainted. Well, I didn't know she'd get a shock and do a thing like that, did I? Today is Friday. Oh, Nan's okay. But I'm grounded. You know what grounded means, don't you? <laughs> I think we've all been grounded at some time or other. Now, I'll read you a junior lyric poem that I wrote, and it's called The Park. It's in the same book, and it's on page 42. Listen and see how it deals with gentle emotions. This is what makes it a lyric. My brother brought me to the park. Now he's playing with his friend. It's not much fun on a seesaw with no one on the other end. I've had a little go on the swing, but I can't push myself up high. A swing is only fun when you can fly up in the sky. The little boy on that swing is getting a great big push. Oh, wow! Ah, they pushed him off. He's fallen in the bush. Oh, maybe I'm lucky after all. Oh. Have you ever tried to do your homework or write a poem and being interrupted by your young brother or sister? If you have, you'll know. Certainly I identify with the next poem on my program. It's a performance poem and it's usually recited by children in uh, upper primary classes. I call this poem The Poet and it's also in this book and it's on page 70. Mum, I'm trying to do my homework. Tell her to go away. I have to write a poem and she just wants to play. Thanks, Mum. The clown's name was Buzzo, and he... Oh, get lost! He's travelled all around the world, and many seas he crossed. Mum! She's jumping on my bed again. Now she's on my chair. She hit me with a pillow, and there's feathers everywhere. Mum! Now stay out. Thanks, Mum. Oh, where did I get to? 
Bazo loves adventuring and one dark night ah, what shall I use to rhyme with night? Oh yeah, he had a great big fright. I know what I'll write. He walked into a pirate's cave and saw a body hung. And as he backed out quietly, Mom! She's back again and sticking out her tongue. Look, you're seven years old. Do as you're told. How can I create? If you don't get right out of here, you won't be turning eight. Ugh! Oh.